Hi, I wanted to make this video tonight to show off another very affordable firearm accessory that I got on Amazon. It's a TAC Fire Tactical Light, and I got it for about $20, and it's very low price, but it's not low on quality. So I'm going to go over some of the features of this light and give my opinion on it. So my first experience with this Tactical Light was I was in the market for a Tactical Light for my High Point 9mm carbine. So I looked into the big sporting goods stores like Cabela's, Sportsman's Warehouse, and it seemed like the cheapest tactical light they had there was about $50, and most of them averaged about 100 and even up. So I kind of looked on Amazon because I'd previously bought red dot sights there for a considerably cheaper price that were still pretty good quality. So I found these, this tack fire on Amazon, and I went ahead and purchased it. And it was just about $20, which is very cheap. And it fit Picatinny rail, which is what I needed for my M-Lock handguard. And I attached it to here. And the coolest little feature, in my opinion, that's on this is it comes with a little Picatinny rail on the outside of it. So you could even mount something else to it. Something like a laser. Or I'm not really sure what else you'd mount to it. but So anyways, this battery, it, the flashlight comes with, there it is on. It is, it's a CR123A battery, and that's a lithium battery, and it doesn't say how long the runtime is for the light anywhere on the packaging or online or anything like that, so, so far I've used it for at least five hours or so, and it's still going strong. The light is 150 lumens, which is pretty bright. I mean, I haven't needed it to be any brighter than that where I've used it. So basically all I've really used it was when we go shooting in the winter time, we get up an hour and a half to two hours before sunrise and hike up this uh, small mountain to our shooting spot. And a lot of the time when we get there, it's still pitch black. So that's where I've used this light. It was outside in the woods walking up the mountainside. Other than that, the only other thing I could really would really think of needing to use it for is home security, and I mean that's a pretty sm slim chance that's going to happen. So, yeah, I mean it comes with the button on off just like a regular flashlight, and then it also comes with a pressure switch, which you just take this piece off right here, pop that off, and then you to pull it through the other the wire like that and then you just screw this on oh put it on backwards let's try that again there we go so you just screw it on just like the other piece was not screwed on and I would be pretty careful when you screw these threads on because it's not the thickest material the threads are made out of it's probably just aluminum so if you force it you might cross thread the piece and then you'll have, see it's already get there we go it's definitely a little bit of a struggle to get it going but once you got it going you're good and so this feature would be good for a tactical situation where you only need the light on you hold the button down, which turns it on, and then as soon as you release it, it goes back off. There's no press the button and it stays on until you press it again feature. It's just hold it down, on, let it go, off. Which, I mean, it would be pretty handy in a tactical situation, so you quickly just look at whatever you need to look at and then turn the light off real quick so you don't get noticed. So for $20, this is a really good deal. I mean... The first one I bought was for my high point, which it's still on that rifle, and then I even got it for my AR-15, and if I ever need another one, I'm sure I'll buy the same model, and yeah, that's about it. I mean, it comes with the two pressure switches, it comes with the battery, and then it comes with an Allen wrench to attach it onto the pick rail, so it just attaches, and like I said, yeah, it's got that cool little pick rail on the outside, so you can attach something to the flashlight if you need to, and... Also, when you attach, unattach this from the handguard, it could be used as just a regular flashlight if you need it for that purpose. Because I think in the packaging, 
it comes not separated to this piece, you have to slide it in and then tighten it down to the pick rail. Okay, so now I'll kind of give a demonstration on how this works in the dark inside. Alright, here it is in the dark. Works fine indoors, and it worked fine for me when I was using it outside in the woods. Most of the other flashlights I saw that were comparable but much higher in price, they had a strobe effect, but I mean, that's something you could do with the pressure switch. I'm doing it just by tapping the button quickly without that feature, so that's one cool thing I noticed is that button is really easy to press fast, so that definitely comes in handy. Well, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like, and click the symbol in the bottom right hand corner to subscribe. And thanks again for watching and supporting my channel, and have a good night.